Do you know how to play blindfolded? Yes, I can play blindfold chess. <laughs> I can even do it on screen. <laughs> Pawn to c6. Pawn to d5. Bishop takes d4. Knight f6. Pawn to d5. You can still run. Knight f1. Pawn to c6. Knight c6. No, no. no. Okay. Are you sure? Knight is under attack. I play c5. Pawn to c5. Knight 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 to <laughs> Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm 38 years old. I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Lucens and in my other life, I play chess for the country. I think the, the first time I played chess was with my dad. I asked my dad to show me the game and he had absolutely no clue how to play the game. So he sort of made up some rules and I had no idea and we just played and I kept losing every game and then he sort of, uh, with a laugh, he just said why don't you go to school and then you maybe ask some friends what, how this game should be played and then I realised that the rules are completely different I remember the first time I played um, a chess tournament, I was also like Bev Harmon she didn't know where to go to submit her entry form where to submit her score, looking around for a table and then going to the first board to look at the best players play. The atmosphere is exactly the same, it's tense. Um, there's a certain excitement and I'm not sure whether you feel that way. I'm a chess player so I'm biased, right? But <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys feel. Yeah, so what I did was um, I, I took a year off from my job. I just wanted to push myself for that one year to see you know, if I could move towards the grandmaster level in chess, which is the highest title one can attain in a game of chess, right? They basically said, yeah, go ahead. Um, you still have a job when you come back, don't worry, you know? This one time, uh, I was playing a, a Hungarian Grandmaster. I had a great position. I had about 48 minutes on the clock. He had three. He was under the cosh. He was, you know, he was doing this, shaking his head. I was just there, relaxed. And I had to win the game to have a good chance of making my final GM norm, actually. So, so that was quite high stakes. Um, and he made a move. I think, uh, you know, I, I, I thought for about three minutes, I was like, oh, okay, just make a move, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win. And immediately I saw that it was, a, it was a horrible mistake, like immediately, but it was too late. You can't take back the move. It was too late. And of course he saw that it was a mistake, he made the right move, and I was lost. But in that one second um, of carelessness, we lose the game. And then I spent the next 30 minutes just feeling sorry for myself, right? Um, trying not to burst into tears because I was like, oh, what the hell did I just do to myself? And um, I, think, I think especially, you know, the finances side of things always comes to mind. Like you spend all this money and on, on training, you travel all this time, you, sp you played so well in the first few, first few games and then now you, you spoil everything with one move. And that was going through my head, you know? Um, in the 30 minutes. Every, every time you get a bad result, you sort of think whether you want to retire from the game and just stop playing and focus on real life matters. Rightly or wrongly, whether it's in a good way or not, after that sort of thinking, uh, or rather I would channel that sort of frustration into anger to prove that I want everyone to prove a point, not just to others, but actually just to myself that um, that to give up now is, is, a, is a sign of weakness. And I just felt that it would be regrettable if I decided to quit and then 10, 20 years down the road and then I start thinking, oh, maybe I should have done that. Uh, why am I not a GM now? Uh, maybe I should have done this back then, right? So quitting just meant weakness and I, I didn't like that.
So the whole script was written such that I had to win the match and I would return from Vietnam as a grandmaster. I didn't. So <laughs> I drew the match uh, and I lost rating points as a result. I wouldn't call it a defeat. I would say that it was a long period of frustration and depression. Now, I don't mean depression as, you know, the, the medical... Just depression. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't happy, let's, to put it mildly. And I regretted uh, spending that amount of time. Um, perhaps I should have just pushed a bit further. But you wouldn't know. I mean, I think uh, people like to say that um, you should have no regrets because you wouldn't really know what sort of outcome might happen, right? And this time it was with um, the, Myan, the Myanmar Chess Federation. I was going to play um, the best player from Myanmar. I went and uh, finally I won the match and I gained the points there. So I became a Grandmaster uh, as I came, when I came back from, from, from Myanmar. And I just, I'm just glad that you know, eventually it all came together. Fisher takes F5. Thanks. Wow.